In this tutorial, we will estimate the crane size required for a typical crane assisted launch, which is used in the erection of generally single span steel girder bridges. The girder structural steel, generally a pair of girders, are launched from behind one abutment and assisted by a crane position behind the opposite abutment through a cantilever tip support. Typically, the system is launched up till mid span. After that, the crane starts assisting and providing a tip support. And as the radius of the lift reduces, the big weight keeps increasing until the girder gets to point B, where the crane then also assists in setting that end of the girder on top of the permanent bearings. Before we get into working on this procedure, let's uh, define a few variables. The span length is capital L. The distance of the CG of the crane from point B is small a. The distance of the pick point from point B is small x, which means the launched length from point A would be equal to capital L minus x. If at any point you'd like to refer to any of these variables, you can go to the top section right here and you would get a description. The first thing we're going to do is write down the girder bending moment at half launch. This is when half the girder system has been launched. And at this point, we would assume that the crane is not providing any tip support. So that moment, and we'll call it M max, because we would assume that the girder system would not see a demand greater than this throughout the entire launch process. So this would be equal to the unit weight of the girder system, which is small w times the length launch square, which would be L over two square divided by four. So this works out to WL square over eight, and we'll call this equation one. Next, we'd write a general equation for bending moment when the crane starts assisting, assuming the pick point is at a distance X from point B. This would be equal to the negative moment from the cantilever, which is the unit load times the cantilever length squared divided by two minus the positive moment from the tip load, which would be equal to the load P times the cantilever length. And we'll call this equation two. Now we'll make an assumption that the critical location for crane capacity occurs at a distance X equal to L by four. In other words, when three quarters of the span has been launched, this is where we reach the critical capacity of the crane, and we'll call this equation three. Now we'll set up a condition by substituting three and two and setting equal to one. In other words, what we're saying is that the net moment in the girder system cannot be greater than M max. And that would give us the minimum load that the crane needs to carry at this stage of the launch. W L minus L by four square by two minus P L minus L by four. This should be less than or equal to M max. So we'll just say the limiting condition is equal to M max, which is W L square over eight. So you see, we've used equation two in which we've set the value of X from equation three and we've set it equal to equation one. All right, so now if we do the math and we solve for P, we get P equal to five WL by 24. So if you recollect, we have a rule of thumb formula for crane capacity in the absence of crane charts. Capacity is called T is equal to the pick load P times the pick radius, which in this case would be X plus A, where X is L over four. So L over four plus A, this whole thing divided by 2.5. Now solving for P from this equation, we get P is equal to two and a half times the crane tonnage divided by L by four plus A. So let's call this equation four, and this is equation five. So now what we do is we set two formulas for P that we have in equation four and five, and we set them equal to each other and we solve for T. So this means T is equal to omega L by 12 L by four plus A. So this would be the general rule of thumb formula we can use to determine the size of crane required given the span length, the distance of the CG of the crane from 
the centerline of bearing and the unit load of the girder system that we're launching. 